is Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just looking at these dates. Yeah. You had a motion hearing on July 31st of 2015? Yeah. Uh, this says that the clerk of the court shall forward a copy of the order on or before the next judicial day? Yeah. To the Pencom County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the city, town, police department where the protected person lives, which shall enter this order in the Washington Crime Information Center? Yes. And then it says service, Clallam County Sheriff's Office, uh huh, or city police department where the restrained party lives, which shall personally serve the restrained party mm -hmm. with a copy of this order and shall promptly complete and return to this court proof of service. Yes. Now, um, two weeks later, you served me in the Squim Public Library. Yeah. That's not uh, forwarding a copy of the order on and before the next judicial day. Right. Which shall personally serve the restra restrained party with a copy of this order. Yeah. It was the Sheriff's Department that served me in the Squim Public Library. Or was it some private citizen that had uh -huh, something to teach me about what the law says? It was a wrongful execution. Yes. The return of service. Mm -hmm. Two judicial days later. Yes. It was Saturday. Pope. August. Uh, no. Saturday. August 15th. Mm -hmm. Used to go to Squim to eat lunch there. Yes. Now let's look at it. Okay. You issue. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, protection order. Uh, let me see. Oh. Uh, I just, there seems to be some problem with that date. Yes. On July uh -huh, 31st. Okay. 31st of 2000. Darn it. I don't know why I did that. 31st of 2015. Yeah. You uh, served me on August mm -hmm. 15th. Yeah. Of 2015. Yeah. It was a Saturday. Pooh, pooh, pooh. I did not live in Squim, Washington. Mm -hmm. I lived in Port Angeles, Washington. I slept at the Serenity House Homeless Shelter. I had slept there for a year. Pooh. I do not live in Squim, Washington, but it seems that it keeps being the Squim Police Department. That keeps arresting me and serving me fraudulent court orders that violate the laws of this state. Yes, every state and the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a return of service. Ouch. August 17th of 2018. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what date that is. Okay. Yeah. Look at it. It's a Monday. Oh, 17 days after you issued this protection order. Yes. On and before the next judicial day. When did it go into the PENCOM? Mm. Did it go in there in uh, 2017? Poo. Poo. I mean, isn't that what the evidence says of the faxed copy to the public defender's office in Jefferson County? Well... That's what it says. Oh, it said June of 2017. Yes. 2017. Yeah. Uh, Pencom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. June 3rd of 2017. Yes. Now, was this the copy that was on and before the next judicial day from June 1st of 2015? Mm -hmm. Because how can your faxed copy be yes. To the public defender's office of Jefferson County have a different date, yes, than the actual date known as on before the next judicial day, yes, 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 after being served. Poop, poop. Now, July 1st of 2015, yes, mm -hmm. it would have been August 1st of 2017. <coughs> no, it would have been August 1st of, well, let's see. It was a Friday. Yes. Uh, the court shall forward a copy of this order on or before the next judicial day. 
of all of the civil court orders of family court that are heard on Fridays, how many of them get entered into PENCOM on that Friday? Or how many get entered into PENCOM on a Saturday? Do the sheriffs work on the weekend? Is PENCOM open on the weekends? Why don't you give me every court order issued on Friday's family court day? Yes. Where it should say uh, some sort of, of certification or having received? Yes. Uh, because where the protected person lives, yeah, which shall enter this order in the Washington Crime Information Center. Mm -hmm. I just want to compare the date of the day of issuance and then on or before the next judicial day. Yeah. Now, I'm going to sue you for each because you're pissing me off. Do you fucking understand? Now, I said I want my sons. Now, Clallam County Sheriff's Department, Bill Benedict. Did you know who I was? Yes. At the time of the issuance of July 31st of 2015? Yeah. Well, you decided to serve me in Squim instead of in Clallam County. <coughs> now, this return of service, yes, of 2015, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a Monday, pooch. But you had another attempt of service, sheriff's return of service not served. Was that um, the Squim Police Department? Because that would have been a Tuesday. Yeah. Now, on August 18th of 2015, it was a Tuesday. Yes. Well, when I got served, right, exactly, it was a sheriff that served well, since I didn't live in Squim, how? The, well, okay, return of service, right, the 27th, yeah. Now, the 27th, yes, August 27th of 2015, 27 days, right, 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 uh, from July 31st of 2015, there is uh, a return of service three weeks later, yes. Now, after you served me, why is there another? Well, I'm going to sue you, <laughs> Mr. Snell. Now, remove that protection order that is fraudulent. And then get me, uh-huh on or before the next judicial day every court order that was entered into the public court record on the actual day that it was issued yes because you haven't been intentionally well you're getting sued. 